Well, hello, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and I'm here today, and um, I've got a little bit of love for our Cricut users. Now, I'm gonna do some follow-up videos for um, people that use the Silhouette Studio software as well as Shortcuts a lot, uh, but I wanted to start with the Design Space people, and um, we recently released um, this lantern here, and I've been getting emails from people asking about um, new panels or optional panels, new designs to put in these little windows here. Um, this here on my left is actually um, some optional panels that we include for free on the website. So here, if you follow along here with me, if you go to our website, 3dsvg.com under free SVG files, you'll see the beautiful photo of this guy here and actually kind of looks more like that um, so what we did was we included these panels here and you cut these out and put them in place of the standard panels that come with the original lantern which is right here so let me show you that this is the original okay and again this is the one that we did with the optional Halloween panels. So um, you've got that as an option, you've got that as an option, and then also on our Facebook page, we've seen um, some of you guys actually customizing these. And let me see if I can actually bring it up here without logging in, I think I can. Uh, let's take a look. Yep, see here's one from Chris. She actually did a Halloween version and it looks like she just welded um, some other art that she found from uh, another place, or maybe she even designed it herself. I, you know, I'm not really sure. She didn't specify, but um, you know, we're actually going to put together some Christmas stuff. But in the meantime, if you guys want, you can customize this yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do that today in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so oh, here's another one. Well, that one wasn't customized, but that one's beautiful too. And Judy did that one. I swear there was a couple more here, but anyway, let's just get started here. I was kind of messing around, and I know that like fairies are really huge right now. So um, the cool thing with this is you can go in and put whatever you want into the little window, as well as on top actually. And even if um, even if you're not planning on making this lantern. I do recommend that you follow along here because I'm gonna show you some cool tips and tricks in design space on how to actually um, modify SVG files, okay? So it's real simple stuff, but maybe some of you don't know and I kinda of wanna show you just what you can do. So the original Lantern, this guy here, comes with in your extras folder there is a blank, um, well, in the extras folder, there's three files. I'll show you what they are. There are these files here, so follow along with me. Um, you've got the blank little panel for the inside. It's more like a frame than a, it's actually not a panel at all, it's a frame. And then there's this piece here, and um, that's the pattern piece that you see here, the decorative piece, because the uh, underside or the bottom part of this is actually a solid piece of cardstock. We did it in purple here. I did it in black there, and that's this piece here. But I wanna start with just the little window part, okay? So um, you're gonna import the file that's called blank underscore border underscore spinach, spinach being the color that we made it in the original. And you wanna import it and bring it in. And I was kinda of messing around a little bit, again, following this whole um, fairy trend. So if you have your own image, you can use your own image um, you can upload it as an SVG or you can trace it or whatever, but I actually just went into the Cricut store and I found, well, first off, I did a search for fairy and I found a cute Tinkerbell that I thought was perfect for this. So I did a search for fairy and let me see if I can find her again. I believe it was this one where she's got the little magic wand. So I'm gonna insert that and what I'm gonna do is I'm holding down my shift key here just so that when I resize it, actually I don't need to hold down shift, I'm just resizing this 
and I'm gonna make it so that her foot and her wings weld to the frame. And I'm gonna move it over to the left a little bit. And just as long as you've got some overlapping pieces up at the top and down at the bottom, you can go ahead and select the entire image and then hit weld, okay? So you see what it did there? It took and it basically welded Tinkerbell to the blank frame. So also, uh, one other thing I do wanna mention is this frame piece that we include, you do not need to resize it. It comes in at the correct size automatically. So, and that's true with all of our files. So when you bring it in initially, it should come in and we can double check here under edit it looks like it comes in at 3.7 inches wide, which seems about right. Um, and I've never really had any issues with the files not coming in at the correct size, so you can just proceed knowing that it's gonna work. Okay, so all I did there was I took Tinkerbell and I placed her so that part of her wings overlapped with the original frame as well as her foot. And then I also found a really cool flourish and Cricut Access is just, or just the Cricut store is loading here. So I'm gonna do a search for Flourish, Flourish, Flourish. And once it loads, I kind of messed around a little bit with a few of them and I found one that I just really liked. I like the way that it worked with this design and there it is. So I'm gonna insert that and oops, Oh geez. Okay, let me just get back here and zoom in. Okay, so I took this guy here and I believe just kind of rotated it until I got it at the right angle. And I did resize it a little bit. I made it a little bit smaller because I didn't want it to compete too much with Tinkerbell. Okay, and just as long as you have this design as well as the original design overlapping at some of the parts here. So you can see that it's overlapping here, it's overlapping here, and it's significantly overlapping here, 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 and here. It's gonna make sure that you've got a nice strong hold. Now if you want to um, make it even stronger, you can kind of overlap it with her finger there as well. And that will keep it nice and strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all and I'm doing that by drawing a box around all of the elements, or you can click select all, either way. And we're gonna go back under the layers option here and click weld. Okay, so there you go. You can see the cute design. Now you can add as much or as little to this as you want. You can customize it however you want. Uh, you can make it for Christmas, you can actually weld letters in here if you want, you know, like someone's name or, or whatever. The process is exactly the same. You just weld it and you're good. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of inspiration and um, opens up a whole new world for what you can actually do with this lantern. Now, aside from the interior panel here, um, turn on, aside from the, where you see the cat's face, the spider portion, we've also included some blank versions of those pieces too. So let me show you how that works. And here they are here. So I'm gonna import both of these. Okay, and now again, these are in your extras folder and it's called blank underscore panel underscore pattern and blank underscore roof underscore plum. So let's go ahead and import those. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this design and before we can make any modifications to it, we do need to ungroup it. So we can right click on the design and click ungroup. And if you noticed here on the right hand side, that simply takes the score lines and the cut lines for the main part of the actual cut and separates them. And this way we can actually make some modifications to it. And then you wanna hide the score lines because we don't wanna alter them at all. And I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to bring in that same flourish real quick. Okay, so let me go ahead and find that again. Flourish. And do a search. Okay, and I just need to scroll down here until I find my favorite little flourish that I found before. Okay, there it is, I'm gonna insert it and 
Actually, let me turn the score lines back on because I want to use them as a reference as far as where to place this thing. Okay, because you do not want to encroach on this bottom score line here. Okay, you want to keep it above that bottom score line. So I'm going to place my design right about here and try not to try to get it so that the design doesn't overlap the score line too much. In some spots, it's fine. Uh, this looks pretty good to me. I think I'm going to actually make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so let's just let's just say that that is what we want. Okay, now. What we want to do is we want to turn off the score lines. Okay, the score lines are this layer here, blank underscore roof, plum. It's that blank one there with nothing in the little box here. Okay, and what we want to do next is we want to select these items here by drawing a box around them. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hit slice. Okay, so now slice did cut that out for us. I'm going to go ahead and hide these layers here so you can see what slice did okay now here's the trick okay so pay attention here so this piece is done okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn back i'm going to turn on the score lines again okay and the score lines are here this is this blank box here and you can't see it because it's behind the it's behind the design right now so i'm going to highlight it by clicking here and I'm going to click Arrange and move it to front because we want it to show up on top. And that way we know that it's positioned correctly and everything looks great. So I want to also want to hide the, well, the actually the, the other flourishes, the flourishes that were sliced out are both hidden. You want to make sure that, that's, that those are hidden. Okay. And what we can do at this point is we can select this design by drawing a box around it. This is going to make sure that we include the score lines and the actual cut lines. And then we're going to hit attach. Okay. Now that is going to keep everything um, together. It's going to keep the score lines and the cut lines together so that when design space goes to cut it, it cuts it out all together. Now here's, here's the little secret here. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take this because this is the decorative panel here that you see in these pattern papers by DCWV. And we want to make sure that when we cut this out, the flourish also cuts out of it, but we want to make sure that it's aligned um, as closely as possible. So right now, when I move this thing around, oops, I didn't want to do that. When I, you want to make sure that you don't move anything at all, okay? Just this piece now. So we're just going to move this around. And right now, as I move it, it goes behind the design, which we don't want. So I'm going to highlight this, go to Arrange, and move it to the front. Okay, that puts it on top. Now we can take this piece and just kind of eyeball where it's going to sit. And that to me looks pretty good. Let me just make sure here. Okay, that looks good. It's nice and centered. We've got a nice little border around it. And now I'm going to take one of these flourishes that were sliced out. I'm going to turn it back on and it's back there. And I'm going to bring it to the front. Okay. So that technically is the correct location for it because that's where it was sliced originally, it's still in that spot, and now it's on top of this design. Okay, so what I'm gonna do actually at this point is I'm gonna hide this guy here, the actual base of the lid of the lantern. So everything is hidden except for the sliced flourish and the blank panel, which is up here. And of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these and I'm going to slice them. And that's going to cut the design out of our panel. Now I can go ahead and highlight the flourish and delete it. And this is the original. I'm going to delete that. And now what you're left with is a panel that contains your design. And we also have the original design with the same panel or with the same design. And look at that. And it's going to fit perfectly and it's nice and centered. Now there's also one more sliced flourish, which we don't need. So we can actually delete that. So that is what we're left with. We're left with a completely customized version of this lantern um, using the flourish. And of course, the little windows are going to feature Tinkerbell using that same flourish. So um, I know that was a lot of information, but if you watch it, just rewind it, pause it, it should all make sense. And if it doesn't, um, please leave a comment at the bottom of this video 
And um, I'm actually thinking about maybe even doing a live feed for this technique so that you guys can ask questions or stop me um, during the process. So let me know if everything made sense and I would love to see what you guys do um, as far as customization goes with these lanterns because they're really cool. And by the way, if you're wondering, um, the super cool light in here is uh, an LED tea light. Um, it's actually submersible, you can put it in water. I haven't yet, but you can totally change the colors on it. It's really cool. Um, and let me show you on the website here, we actually, we've, we've included everything for you. So if you go to the product page, on any product page, if you scroll down under uh, supply list, you'll see everything that we used in that project with links to um, Amazon, because I know a lot of you guys are Prime members. I am too, and it's just really convenient. So um, again, stay tuned for the Silhouette Sure Cuts A Lot version of this video, um, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks, and happy crafting. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.